So yes, my dear friends, we are happy to share the good news. And that is Godzilla will be seen again in the big screen. Well, if you do have a big screen in your living room, that is. A new Godzilla series has just been announced and it will be focusing on all the things that happened between Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla King of the Monsters. This series will be showcased in Apple TV and not in Netflix like the upcoming Kong animated series. So the big question now is, what will the story be like and what titans will we be seeing in this show? Stay tuned and keep watching for our in-depth discussion and well thought out theories for everything related to this wonderful announcement. So we might be a little bit late for this announcement but it's not because of slow action, it's because we are connecting the dots on which titans that are likely to be seen or appear in the MonsterVerse Godzilla series. We do have quite a good idea on what will happen given that we know the timeline between Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla KOTM. So here's the premise of the show. Following the thunderous battle between Godzilla and the titans that leveled San Francisco and a shocking new reality that monsters are real, the untitled series explores one family's journey to uncover its buried secrets and a legacy linking them to the secret organization known as Monarch. Oh yeah, Legendary and Toho are besties for now and they have renewed their license to make more Godzilla flicks in the future. It seems that this incarnation of Godzilla will not just go away. He is a fan favorite, loved much more than any other version of him since 1954. The hashtag continue the MonsterVerse did work and even more so than the restore the Snyder Cut hashtag. We now have two interesting shows, the Godzilla series in the making that will be seen in Apple TV and the animated Netflix Kong series, which will also focus on the MonsterVerse Titanus Kong and not a new King Kong made from scratch. So what do we know after reading the premise? Hmm, what's in store? What titans will be seen? Of course this is still speculation but if it's going to be true to the MonsterVerse timeline then let's get to it and leap to see the titans. Our idea is that we will see Godzilla series showcasing a brand new titan. Well, not really a brand new titan but relatively new to the live action screens. We will see the Muto Prime in action, the same one from the comics Godzilla Aftershock. Well, this isn't just a wild guess, remember that they said this will continue from the thunderous battle between Godzilla and the Titans in San Francisco. Which means that these Titans are none other than the Muros, yes my friends, these beloved kaiju will be seen again, albeit in brief screen timings uh, in the beginning of the show. Remember that the Muto Prime's awakening and fighting with Godzilla happened immediately after the death of the two Muros, which means that the comics Aftershock will be converted from drawing on paper into CGI on screen. Yeah, so moving on, this is a series and not a movie, so there will be a lot more than just Aftershock in here. The main question is what happened between Godzilla 2014 and King of the Monsters in the MonsterVerse, when the world became aware of the existence of Titans and the fact that there is a secret organization that knows a lot about these monsters and not only that, but has made significant strides in studying them, secretly without revealing the truth to the public. Well for one, Monarch will be facing a tough time in general public reviews in that show. But then again we will also be seeing this organization being transformed into a bigger entity with money flowing into them and with that there's gonna be the discovery of more titans all over the world and that my friends is the frosting over the cake. We will most likely see the titans that weren't showcased in Godzilla vs Kong and KOTM but were only mentioned and seen in the monitor screens of KOTM and they will all have their moment in the sun in this series. So we will also follow Monarch as they discover titans all over the planet, changing the whole perception of the human race as the masters of this world. The series as said before will focus on a family right after Godzilla 2014 and San Francisco, which means only one family that is important enough to carry the series ahead one that faced tragedy and has a deep connection to Monarch without even knowing their importance. And yes, that would most probably be the Russell family. The loss of their male child in the battle of 2014 against the Muros and their work with the Orca, the device that detects and emits bioacoustic signatures of the Titans. And we might see them perfecting the device, well at least Emma Russell doing it, while Mark Russell goes into depression. Well, if memory recalls, it was Emma Russell who helped Godzilla in the fight against the Muto Prime, distracting it with a sonic device that imitates the biosignature of the Jinshin Moshi. This is of course the prototype Orca and its sound distracts the Jinshin Moshi, the Muto Prime, 
long enough for Godzilla to get back up, lift the Mutra Prime on his back, and fire a nuclear pulse from his damaged dorsal plates. Well, with this breakthrough in Orca technology, it will lead Monarch in the quest to find more of these titans spreading all across the globe, finding new ones in strange locations and even studying them and their ancient inscriptions and learning more about the history of these super species and the human race. So let's come to the crux of this topic. So what are the probable titans that will be seen? With the family and monarch discovering secrets as well as locations of new titans, we will most likely be seeing the construction of containment facilities of titans such as the Leviathan in Scotland, the monster that inspired the legend of the Loch Ness Monster, and we will also be seeing others like Amhuluk in Russia, Mukule Mbembe in Central Africa, all these titans that were discovered due to the Orca device. Of course, we won't be seeing Rodan, Scylla and Methuselah since they are all underground, but we might be seeing facilities built around them by Monarch. Since all this happened between 2014 and 2019, we might also see Tiamat in live action and also Mothra hatching out from her egg in the end of it. And we might also see Monarch finally discovering Monster Zero frozen under the Antarctic ice. Imagine seeing the likes of Mukele and Bembe finally on TV, or Bunyip from Australia and even Sekhmet and Baphomet. These titans that till now we have no idea what they look like. Seems that the Monsterverse will be showcasing unique titan designs. We do know what Amhuluk, Nakika, Tiamat and the others look like but we haven't seen the others that were only mentioned in the monitor screens in KOTM. So this will be the perfect time to fulfill the fans wishes and milk that cow till the last drop. Show us Baphomet, what the goat god of the Templars look like or Sekhmet, the ancient deity of the Egyptians if she has the appearance of a cat titan or has the insectoid body as seen briefly in the monitor screens as X-ray photos. We also want to see Typhon, Quetzalcoatl, Yamato no Orochi and Abaddon make this dream come true. Ha, <sighs> yeah, so okay, let's uh, chill out a little bit. But what if we are wrong about the Russell family and what if there's another family following Godzilla and not the ones from KOTM? Well, then we won't have much to theorize about this. If this is the case, a brand new family, meaning a brand new cast and characters that will follow a giant monster to uncover their legacy with Monarch. Seems like the most obvious candidates will be the ones from Skull Island or, maybe, Serizawa and his family coming back into this show. But this seems a little bit far-fetched. So let's take the first theory as the most probable one. But mind you, take this with a grain of salt as we have no idea what legendary might be hiding up their sleeves. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Anyway, with that, we come to the end of it. So do hit that like button for support and subscribe as well to be a part of the MindQ family. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.